What's up everyone? This past Saturday, Molly and I were lucky enough to be invited to do a live stream with Katie Sackoff to raise money for AMFAR. They're one of the world's leading nonprofit organizations dedicated to the support of HIV research, prevention, treatment education, and advocacy. We raised over $21,000, and the donation link is in the description if you're interested in showing your support now. But Katie joined us for three hours. It was a blast, but of course we had a lot of good, fun, interesting Star Wars talk, so I cut down like a Dream highlights video so you can hear her stories working on the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian without having to sift through a seven hour stream, and you can see her effortlessly dodge all of my questions about the future. So, this is kind of like a calm chatter episode, but I wanted to give you a little context for what you're about to see. Enjoy. We are here today for Amphar's gaming series. I'm so excited, you guys. We are, um, thank you so much to everyone to, for being here. Thank you, Alex, uh, Molly, for getting things going. You guys have been playing for hours. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do that. We're, we're just your little warm up. We're, yeah. we're here to get the crowd warm, and this is the main event. Everyone's been waiting for Katie. <laughs> oh, I love it. You guys, this is the best way to. Um, to support National Youth HIV AIDS Awareness Day. Um, thank you guys all for being here. Um, we'll talk more about that stuff, but let's get into gameplay. But right now, if you guys wanna click to donate, there's a link there. Um, just click donate. Um, we've got some really fun um, things planned. Some real fun stuff. You guys, as soon as we get to $1,000, I'm gonna shotgun this beer. I, I haven't- I thought it was more than that. Is it 1,000? I'm gonna shotgun a beer. I haven't done that since high school. I, I'm I'm excited for this because uh, this is kind of a redemption story for Molly and I. We actually got to meet Katie at Dragon Con uh, ten years ago. I think it was like ten years. And ago. Uh, we 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 tell the story a lot, but we were in line to get something signed, and we were debating like we we were setting up what we were going to ask with specific questions, and we got to the front, and we were just so nervous. And you were obviously very kind and like talked to us, but we were just like, thank you for signing our thing. And we walked away and we were just bickering like, well, why didn't you say what we said we were going to say? Well, you didn't say anything either. And it's it's so nice to actually get to redeem ourselves for that. And you guys almost broke up and Katie got between you and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. got together. Uh, we like, got a $250 donation from our friends at the Templin Institute. And, oh my uh, God, that's amazing. <laughs> They, they are friends of ours, and oh my he, God, he has a, again? <laughs> he says, I'm donating with maximum initiative, which leads to a question that I think he would very much love to have answered, uh, because he's asked me before that in The Mandalorian, mm. <laughs> and the way he puts it, at the 9 minute and 40 second mark for chapter 16, The Rescue, uh, Bo-Katan says, Disembark with maximum initiative and make your way through these tandem decks in a penetration maneuver. What does Guys. maximum initiative mean, and what is a pe penetration maneuver? <laughs> Robin, you guys, just, let's keep it clean. Don't, don't separate them like that. It's real sexual. <laughs> it's real sexual. Can I just tell you, though, that the, this is the scene very much like this location. We were standing in a location very much like this. I was leaning against a little desk like this, uh -huh. if you will. And I was saying my dialogue. There was so much dialogue and um, jump. Oh, I looked at. I, got, I learned how to jump. Um, I don't know what disembark with maximum initiative means. It's sort of like this. Are we trying to kill people? What's happening? Who am I shooting at? Yeah, I think I think you literally just disembarked with maximum initiative. I did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> guns blazing. Those lines, though. I. Robin I helped me. I just was, died. It's a mouthful. She had some real doozies. The Gazanti Freighter one was a The Gazanti Freighter one was really crazy. It was a struggle, yeah. Um, ooh, I got a flamethrower available. Hey, Boo Boo. Adam Lance Garcia donated $100. He said, oh, what's the up, force Adam? is strong with you, so say we all. The force is strong with you. Thank you, baby. Just not. Hey, it's, I just realized what disembarking with maximum velocity means. Maximum initiative? Maximum initiative. It means fast. It means fast. There it is. Yeah, that's that's what I figured, but he just refused <laughs> right? to listen to reason. No, it means fast and ready. Like basically what it means is that like we're gonna disembark with maximum initiative, meaning like no like dilly dallying. Like oh, oh my god, did I just fall you you guys, I just killed myself. I don't even need people to hurt me. I just did it to myself. It's alright. Uh Deidre asks how much fun did you have being on set with Ming Na Win? Oh my gosh, I love Ming. She's amazing. Ming is one of the most refreshingly useful women I've ever met in my entire life. She literally wears 
panda sweatshirts. Like she's got the coolest panda sweatshirt and I, I want to steal it. It's um, one of those like little kid sweaters. I think she actually got it in Japan and it zips all the way up and the hood is the panda head. Aww. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I want it so bad. Um, so, you know, maybe at some point I'll just walk into her trailer and I'll steal it. <laughs> Alex and Molly, you guys aren't shotgunning? Is that, is that what I heard? Uh, I'm not going to shotgun right in front of my computer, but I will drink one very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> drink one very quickly. All right. All right. Let me, uh, let me crack these. You guys, right Robin now. is, is um, at some point, Robin is going to play, and I'm going to engage more with questions and you guys so I can actually see what's happening um, because he okay. can actually play better than I can. <laughs> um, I was, do I get to pick a gun? I know, Katie, you can't see this, but I actually have the Stein, the Top Gun Stein from uh, from Battlestar. What? So do I. Yeah. My Top Gun Stein, well, it's right yours up next might to be the real. alien head. I have mine, too. Is yours real? Mine is real. Yeah, is yours that, real? <laughs> I mean, it's the, the replica. Well, I, no, mine's a replica, oh, too. Okay. Mine's not the real one. They <laughs> so didn't give me that. that I, do, I do have my real Battlestar Galactica helmet. Oh, we'll have to put that. So somewhere. maybe I'll maybe if we get to a certain amount of donations, I'll put that on and play for a little bit. I would play with my Bo-Katan helmet, but I can't see it. <laughs> oh yeah, that was one of our questions. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's one of my questions that I was like, maybe you can actually answer this. Can you see out of the helmet? Like the one that you wore on set. Okay, the show. Yeah. So I absolutely can see out of it. So because the um, the girls, <laughs> the girls. Um, Mercedes and I, our helmets have our eyes go in because of the owl faces. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually have more vis like visuals than uh, the guys do. Oh my god, how do I do this? I need to step away from the computer. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe I'm... I need to stand up to shop at every time. Mm, but I've got to like get my... Okay. So what do I do? I just open this shit, right? Wait till your fan. <laughs> you guys, what I won't do. So keep donating, because what's the next one? You guys get to see my baby blanket next? I think so. That's some, you guys, be honest. We all sleep with baby blankets too. Come on. And it's super sexy, isn't it? It's super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Guys, this is, do we have a bucket close by to vomit? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm just gonna like vomit in your desk. <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, what, guys. what better way to, to celebrate National Youth HIV and AIDS Awareness Day <laughs> than to... What better way? FYI, drink responsibly, not until you're 21. Yes. 21? Unless you're in Canada. Canada. <laughs> Unless you're in some states, and I think you can drink with the permission of your parents at home. So, you know, okay. follow the rules. Uh, I've been a while since I missed Dude. You know, you know how to do it, though, right? I'm you got to play first, and watch it the same and then crack. And then open Don't it. Don't crack the beer first, otherwise you're going to have a mess. So tilt it. Get your mouth Babe. over it. And then <laughs> tilt it up sideways. <laughs> and then crack the beer. I'm definitely not gonna finish this. I was not good at this when I was in college. Probably oh. not, not gotten better. I was really good at this in high school. I can open my throat up. Okay. okay. Here we go. You guys, pledge me. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, did they did they mute themselves? You guys! Oh, there you are, there you are. <laughs> that was relatively easy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, I finished. Oh, I finished too, but it hurts. <laughs> I just did that. You gotta burp it out, baby. Oh, it just feels like it just punched right in the solar plexus. <laughs> 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 but this is why, this is why I picked Core's light because that bullet train just goes straight to the that's, that's uh, exactly what we're that's using. That's what we're drinking. <laughs> you guys. All right, you guys, I spilled all over myself. It's almost a wet t-shirt contest. What did you, I don't know <laughs> like, I think you spilled on me. No, I definitely did not. Can we get a replay on that? Alex, <laughs> you guys see what happened Somebody's there? beer went all the way over here. Somebody, somebody's, somebody. <laughs> somebody's beer. Somebody's beer went everywhere. Somebody's, 
Somebody's a messy drinker. He's <laughs> here, right next to me. You guys, I that was actually, I understand the appeal of this. Oh, not, I remember exactly why I hated doing that. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know I why you to buy that. Yes. Well, I know why, because you didn't drink all of it. Look how much is down here. It's not, it was yours. It was not mine. No, I drank it all. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was dipping it down this side? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that was so nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was amazing. It goes straight to your head. I, th I think <laughs> this is the perfect time. You just shotgun to beer. Here's a good time to ask you a question you probably can't answer. Go for it. Are you in The Mandalorian <laughs> Season 3? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Burps do not count as answers. <laughs> oh. Burp once if you're in The Mandalorian Season 3. <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny! <laughs> you guys, I'm sorry. That's what someone just said. That's why it was so easy for her. She spilled yeah. half of it. Knowing to yeah. not. Not half. It was like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, for anyone that's just joining us, welcome. <laughs> You just missed a shotgun of beer, but thank you so much for being here for the Amphora Gaming Series. We're off to a good start. Holy wow. Hannah. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> that was a good nice you. Yeah. See you. Did you shove your beer? Uh. He's like, uh, uh now no. I did. <laughs> yep. Now, yep. There we go. <laughs> what are you drinking, Alex? Coors Light as well. Oh, nice. Interesting. It's, it's 2.30. I didn't want to go too heavy. <laughs> it's 2.30 <2 laughs> for you. Yeah. It's it's 11.30 for us. Uh, Katie, Robin, <laughs> I, I have a question that I love to ask people. Uh, who is your favorite minor Star Wars character? So someone who, you know, not Luke or Leia or Chewie, but Jar -Jar someone that's like that. Jar Jar down Jar Jar. Every day Jar Jar picks. Jar Jar is yeah. really fun. No, I, I'm kidding. I think <laughs> I love Jar Jar though. So many people hate Jar Jar. Why do people hate Jar Jar? I think he's like when he, when he, he runs around and he's like, Misa. <laughs> I, I loved him when I was 12. Yes. When I was 12. Exactly. <laughs> I think I did too. I mean, yeah. I'm and he's so did funny. an amazing yeah. job yeah. as Jar Jar. Yeah. So I don't know. Who's, who's your favorite minor character? Is, is there someone you think you might be the biggest fan of in the world? Mm -hmm. Besides Bogotan. It can be Bo-Katan. <laughs> you imagine? I was like, it's a little unknown character. She doesn't get a lot of credit. <laughs> Her name's bo -Katan. She's amazing. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think. There's so many characters to choose from, too, yeah. across Clone Wars. and. There's so many characters. I'm trying to think of who else there is. You know which Jedi I like in Clone Wars? Oh, I always forget his name. He's the Jedi with the mask. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, with the... with the. Yes. Yes, Plo Koon. Yeah, he was great. It's a good choice. Yeah. Plo's yeah. amazing. Do you know that that's who um, oh, yeah. we thought that it was at the end? Uh, sorry, spoiler, if you guys haven't seen season two of The Mandalorian. I think anyone on this channel on. has probably seen it. <laughs> really? Yeah, realistically, you guys shouldn't have come. I mean, I don't know. There's always one person that's like... <laughs> You just ruined it for me! You're a terrible human being! Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> um, but that's who we thought it was, was Plo Koon. Huh. Really? <laughs> that's who we told it was, and I'm a very gullible person. When uh, somebody oh. tells me something, I say, okay. <laughs> Because we went well, because it was a whole mystery, right? Because we knew that he, we'd seen him yeah. blow up in. Uh, yeah. Cool. What about Pre Vizsla? Pre Vizsla's amazing. Yeah. Mm, oh, there amazing. you go. That would be super cool, eh? Like, he's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who's <laughs> so who's cool. nicer, Pre Vizsla or John Favreau? <laughs> um, you know. I'd say Favreau, probably. <laughs> Just, there's I'd, I'd there's a lot of didn't. weird, there's a lot of tension between <laughs> Brie Pizzla and Bo, so. <laughs> Katie, your dad right. is a big Star Wars fan, right? So my dad raised me on all sci-fi, like all genre projects, really. You know, um, 
when I was growing up, his, well, his favorite movie was Forbidden Planet. So such an amazing movie. I think it was made in the sixties actually. Um, and he showed me Star Wars when I was a little kid. Um, he also showed me things like Predator and Jaws, which, uh-huh. you know, why I don't go in the woods or, or the ocean. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's a massive Star Wars fan. My, my dad um, remembered seeing it in the theater and, and um, he, he just, he, he watched it every single year. Um, Empire Strikes Back is, is both of one of our favorite movies and we watch it every Christmas. What was it so, like getting to take him on to that cruiser and show him around? I've seen your Instagram post. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Robin was there actually too. I've been saving that photo to post on Instagram. Um, your dad was like a, a just a kid. It was so funny, but I have to say the funniest thing was after that photo, he went on a diet um, because he realized he goes, "Why didn't you tell me to stand front ways instead of sideways? Because I looked chubby." <laughs> <laughs> he's, he like 70, he's 75 yeah. 74 oh. but now he's like can you call them so i can come back <laughs> so now i've lost he's lost like 20 <laughs> pounds picture on the set. he wants to go back yeah. and he's like i'm like dad i don't like have favreau on speed dial <laughs> he was there on a good day though you guys that was the day you guys were shooting the fight sequence into the um like a in, so by Mop Gideon on yeah, the into the, the, the deck. That was the day that we like stormed the bridge. We were watching all the this stunt choreography for that. It was crazy. There, so many times you don't realize how many stormtroopers are just falling dead across the path of the Mandalorians as they're shooting their way through things, and you can't see down right out of the helmet. Yeah. So people get tripping <laughs> over stormtroopers who would fall the wrong way by accident. Oh, stormtroopers, right? Typical stormtrooper, like always <laughs> in your way. They're always dying and getting in your way. <laughs> but I literally was like running through this scene and um, I was running through this scene and I had my helmet on. This is sorry. I was saying this before. <clears throat> so the girl Mercedes and I can see out of our helmets um, easier than than the guys can because they go down. Right. So we've got a little bit of peripheral vision through that like owl eye and the guys really just go straight across. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we can see better than them. And we don't take our helmets off that much. And Pedro was always like, why do you guys just stand around in your helmets? Cause he's so hot in his helmet. And Mercedes and I were like, Oh, well we can see. And we have fans in our helmet. And he was like, I'm sorry, you what? <laughs> and we were like, yeah, we have fans like anti fog fans. We, we could stay in these things all day. And he was like, what the F are you talking about? You guys have, like a first generation. You guys have fans in your helmet. Like our helmets, his is like a tin can and ours is like a, like, a Mercedes on your head. <laughs> it's got like a cooling system. You can see better. It's pretty hysterical, actually. Um, but um, um, I was running through that scene and we had to do all this crazy stuff. And I've got my two guns out, little blaster, excuse me. And I was like running and I tripped over a stormtrooper and I flew so far <laughs> and landed so hard that they just like cut immediately. And I popped right up and Peyton comes running over and he's like, are you okay? And I popped right up and I was like, oh, okay, the armor works. <laughs> <laughs> that boob armor comes in handy, you guys. I slammed so hard right into my, my bits. And I was like, I'm all right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> a lot of people have stuff to say about the boob armor, but it, it functions. Really if, well. It's functional boob armor, man. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jane D, for your, your donation. Uh, Jonathan Redford, Kate L. Uh, that's amazing, you guys. Jane D asks, what is your favorite Star Wars memory, either on set or just in life? Oh, my God. Um, in life. Let's see. Well, when I was a little kid, I was... Leia for Halloween one year and my mom tried to put buns in my hair but I have really thin hair um and so it didn't work very well and I was really disappointed it sounds like the opposite of, of that no it was question. a cute memory because, oh my god wait oh ooh, who's behind me oh I died Cap, Cap old chin that guy killed me last time he is Really? After us? That's the first official kill of Katie. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thanks. (laughs) Um, Now you should donate a thousand (laughs) bucks. No, but my (laughs) mom made, she made little yarn buns for me. She took a bunch of yarn out. Your mom is super cute. And she she used bobby pins and she just, oh my God, someone's trying to kill me already. 
What is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe your, your back is to them. Your back is to them. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her binoculars out. <laughs> Who's that? Are you just making fun of me? I think everyone would want to know, what, what's Grogu like on set? Is he as big of a diva as everyone He's assumes? such a diva, man. He's got like eight handlers. You guys, David. it's too hard to talk and play. I can't, I can't even play without talking, and now I gotta talk? <laughs> and to hold a chihuahua? This is just not... Is it all right if I ask you a Battlestar question? Go for it. Uh, okay, my first question is, what do you hear, Starbuck? Oh, shit, I died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the line. I don't think it is. <laughs> well, right now, I mean, it would be nothing but the rain, but somebody killed me. <laughs> Someone really blew it. So now I don't hear anything. It's okay, you'll come Just back as an, as an angel. Just slow beat of my fading heart. <laughs> so you'll come back as an angel? That is that is kind of like, yeah. yeah. What are you just going like, oh shit, it. I died. Like, well. Okay. <laughs> Ask Katie if she wanted Bo-Katan to have a love interest in uh, Clone Wars or in Mando. I think it says either or, animated or live action. Oh, you know what? I don't necessarily think that she's got time for that stuff. You know, <laughs> like she's she's always looking for the dark saber. <laughs> she's married. She's she's in love with the dark. She's constantly losing it and then finding it again. To I, to to avoid spoilers, how did mm. you? How did Katie Sackoff feel when Din Djarin, the Pretender, walked in wielding Bo Katan's dark saber? You know, I, I think that she was a little frustrated. <laughs> I think you can see it on my face. I think, or her face, excuse me, Bo's well, face. Well, how, how did you feel? You how did Katie feel? Uh-huh. I think as a viewer, I was sort of going like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then I also went, wait a second. Didn't someone give it to her before? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's, well, that's, I think they had I know, an That's what there. a lot of fans thought, uh -huh. too. But Yeah. Um... No, I think that, um, I think I had the same question. I was like, holy Hannah, it's right there. Like, just take it. <laughs> I don't understand why she can't just take it. But as Bo, I totally understand. Mm. So, you know, that's the good thing about having John and Dave there every day though, um, is that like, you can go and you can say to them like, hey guys, why are we doing this? What's, what's this about? What's that about? And we'll just talk about Star Wars for like the next 15, 20 minutes while they're setting up the shot. Mm. And it gives you such a deeper understanding of what you're actually doing, which is, oh my God, you guys' information looks super cool. You guys look really tough right now on camera. It looks great, like in the video game. You all look really great, you all information. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Andrew, thank you for your donations. Stu, Charlie H, you guys, thank you so much. Love it. I'm playing so you have a chance to- Thank to you so much. Some um, someone just said that, um, what was it like to put on the armor for the first time? I think that I've um, talked about this so much because it was one of the coolest things that I've ever experienced. You know, having voiced Bo for so long, she really, every time I imagined and dreamt as her, it was always animation. You know, I, I always just saw her animated in my head. Um, and when I actually put on the, the armor for the first time, it was it was really emotional for myself and, and Filoni was there and and we just sort of like, we both just like kept like smiling and like we just kept laughing. And like he literally, he just said multiple times, the fans are gonna lose their shit, <laughs> which was super cool. So, and I, and I think did. everyone was really impressed with the way that she turned out. Um, you know, we really wanted her to look the way that she looked um, in animation, but more real, obviously. So, um, which is really cool. Um, you guys, we are so close to our next goal of $10,000 when I'm going to eat something that I hate. What do you think it is? What do you think I hate? <laughs> this is what I hate. I hate sardines. <laughs> they make me throw up every time I eat them. It freaks me out. I don't like them. You guys, I'm literally, I can taste the vomit in my throat. This is so <laughs> gross. You guys, you're never going to think I'm tough ever again. Ever again. I don't even know how to get them out of here. When I mean, <laughs> how do I do it? Take it. out. <laughs> oh, I, I can't get it out. I can't get it out. I don't want to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna be funny is if you throw up on screen and Alex sees oh, no. it, he's gonna throw up. I'm gonna up. have to take my headphones off if it gets too <laughs> intense. So Robin's yeah. a I'm a very sympathetic. Uh, 
that's even me, man. I I gag all the time. Smells oh especially. Ready? Here you go. So fishy. <laughs> don't, don't hold it in your mouth, choo choo choo. <laughs> Did you just eat one too, Robin? I you know I I, I like sorry. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah. But the smell, it's the smell. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I do not want to grow up on this uh, computer equipment. This <laughs> is <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think it went down my nose. I feel like there may be a special guest here. Is there a special guest here? You guys, for everyone in the game, in Discord? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet. Give me a second. There might be. <laughs> there is. I think there is. I think that if there was a special guest coming in to join us from Star Wars, who do you think it would be? What? Who said Sam Witwer? It's crazy. Trisha Helfer? Trisha Helfer. Sam oh, Witwer? Wow. Could it be Sam Witwer? Could it be? The Sam Witwer. Hmm. Be? Could it? Oh, what? Interesting. Oh, what's happening? I think it might be. Is it? <laughs> you guys, Sam Witwer is here to join us. He's gonna play. Yay! <laughs> crash down. Somebody said crash down. Exactly. Yay. Is Sam Yay. is Sam more like Darth Maul or more like Crash Down? In person? Mm hmm I'd say he's probably more like Crash Down mm -hmm. just because because he's not, you know, multicolored. <laughs> he doesn't have horns. <laughs> You know that he killed my sister, right? How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, how would you feel about that, Alex? <laughs> it's complicated. It's the only reason why she's forced with this, this, the inevitability that she has to rule. I mean, we wouldn't be in the predicament we're in right now if it had not been for Dolph, Darth Maul. Darth Maul. <laughs> uh, Sam, hi. Hi. How How's are you? Going? I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting into the game now. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm terrible at this game. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm almost mediocre. <laughs> how how long have you been playing this game? Me? Oh, ooh, it's way too long. Way too long. Really? I'm a huge video game nerd. Yeah. Are you? And I'm in the game, so I, I should probably play. I know. I was going to say, do you play your character? Uh, yeah. Well, both of them. I actually did uh, uh -huh. Maul and Palpatine, so I, I, I do them both. Do you try to get to a point where you can play them? Uh, yeah. Always. <laughs> do you do the voices Always. as you do it? Like, you're talking as you play? I often get killed by my characters. That happens a lot. <laughs> so I hear myself laughing at me. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have a question for you. Yes. When you were in Battlestar. Yes. And you would, you, your character flew, right? Yeah, raptor stuff, yeah. Yeah. So um, did you ever find yourself in character making noises like you're a <laughs> child? <laughs> you know, I didn't get to shoot anyone. You got to shoot everyone in that. So so I'm sure that I, I might have. I just remember being shocked that the screens really worked. You remember that? I do remember that. I used to cover them with my sides, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So you'd look down at the screen and get your lines. Because my dialogue was so hard. <laughs> We've got violent decompressions irradiating from the port flight pod. <laughs> they what? are. You're right. Yeah. No. You <laughs> right? That sounds really, that sounds like a big problem. <laughs> it's huge. Huge. It's I'm huge. glad you're on top of it. What Thank do you suggest you so we do about it? Thank you so much. But did you find like did you find yourself sort of like really in it like sort of like Absolutely because because you could hear the other actors in your helmet and then you were in the screen and you were in the spaceship so you're like am I here or am I on a sound stage where am I? Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh it, it's pretty fun. It's pretty it's pretty amazing. Um 
Have you um, have you had the have you been able to go down and see the volume at all? Oh yes, yes I have. It's so cool. Yeah, what was that like? Was it was it weird to have something that was locked to the camera that would shift every now and then if they did a camera move? It was the weirdest thing. You know, like as an actor, how you're supposed to, like when you're in a spaceship, you sort of have to use your imagination like a little kid does with a cardboard box. Like you think it's a race car and like you're using that much of your imagination. Right. On the volume, you don't have to do any of that. It makes so acting so easy because <laughs> you're right. like, holy crap, what's That's happening? So cool. That's so cool. It's so it. crazy. It's so crazy. It's the coolest thing ever. It's so realistic you got seasick when you were on the boat. <laughs> yeah. I did. I got seasick. Which, <laughs> really? Which, uh, yes, I did. When we were standing on top of the Razor Crest, like, st yeah, I literally was. I thought I was gonna vomit, much <laughs> like when I just ate those sardines. So, so um, people, people want Sam to yell Kenobi. I think that should be unlocked through donations. Oh yeah, it should be unlocked <laughs> to donations. Okay, look, for, I would do it for a donation. Uh, but you I guys, will, we yeah. just hit thirteen thousand one hundred. So if we get to fifteen thousand, maybe Sam will do that. <laughs> okay. He, I'll do, yeah, no, I'll do it for fifteen for fifteen thousand bucks donation for this. I will do it. Would I, you? It, yes, it hurts, but I'll do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so thank painful. you. We'll give everyone a, a headphone warning yeah. uh, to just yeah. be ready. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stand back from the mic. Uh, do they let you keep any of your armor? Any of your beska? No, no. Sons of bitches. Something. No, and there's someone that watches you like a hawk. <laughs> um, so it's not like Battlestar. Like for Battlestar on our last day, I just put my flight suit in a cooler and walked out the door. Amazing. Um, I think that if I did that, they must have tracking devices on it on this show. Because yeah. there's like five people that help you get dressed. And I think right. that they've each like one person, one person's responsible for like different, you know, things, part of your body. And I think that they would know if we sadly took any of it but wouldn't that be neat if i just like showed up with like my jet pack right now be amazing be, be amazing. so cool It'd could be starbuck so cool. do you think starbuck would be as good of a pilot with a jet pack as she is as in a viper Ooh. no <laughs> <laughs> i think i think she's like hung over all the time and she like she like really relies on that ship um to help her i think that it would be just a little bit too much g-force like out in the world for mm. Starbuck. Um, yeah, I don't. I didn't know you from Battlestar, but I know you from Smallville, which is a show I've geeked out on with uh, Kate before. Oh, yeah. Yes. You were in Smallville. I was in Smallville. I was Doomsday. I was the guy that kills Superman. Oh, that's so, right. You're just killing you know, people all over the place, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know, like a good character. No, yeah. who's this? Well, Ashton was that? good. Yeah, he was. He was good. Terrible, <laughs> terrible leader, but a good guy. Good guy. He was a terrible leader. He was terrible. a terrible leader. Terrible leader. It's true. But you um, are just killing people all over the place. Like pretty much. Yeah, they've they've locked in. Okay, so so in a <laughs> little story here, um, for anyone that watched Being Human. Um I, I remember in, we were we were <laughs> like in season four and Anna Fricky, the writer, showrunner, originator of the series, we were talking about auditions and stuff, and she goes, Yeah, we knew it had to be you, Sam. I'm like, Yeah, thank you, thank you. How did you know that, that I needed to be in the part? And, she, and I'm expecting her to say, oh, well, you were the only one that understood it or you were the only one that, that, you know, really got how to do the thing. And she goes, oh, you were the only one that really made us believe like you'd killed someone. And I'm like, uh, oh, uh, I thought that it was going to be different. But no, you said that. So that. <laughs> and then she's like, no, 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 it's like a gravitas thing. I'm like, oh, grab it. Murder or gravitas. It is. Okay, it really it. is. So a natural murder or gravitas about you. Murder you should gravitas. put it on your resume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes people believe I've killed someone. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so Katie, it it must have been like insane to go in. Because here's the thing. Okay, look, look. I'm friends with Dave Filoni, so I knew without a shadow of a doubt that if he ever got his live action shot, you were Bo-Katan. I knew that. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm not sure if we ever discussed it. I know we talked about. I know we talked about back in the Clone Wars day. Um, we, we certainly said several times, like, yeah, Katie, th this is a, this is a role that she's not only vocally appropriate for, but that like, she's physically perfect for it. She, she just knows how to play, you know, like that's, that's, this is her role. 
and he and, and he agreed but i just i don't know it's it's funny to me looking at it from the outside that it must have been such a shock to you for me i'm like oh good it happened i'm glad i'm glad it happened this year instead of next year or the year I'm after glad the you year thought year. it was like you were just like not surprised by it at all because i was no. like you should have seen me in my meeting with with favreau i was like <laughs> i think i i was literally shaking i felt like i had to pee the entire time because <laughs> i was so nervous um and then i think i finally realized that he was like talking about me playing this character and i because I, my face was on like the the art on the walls and i was like oh my god Did they mean me what, i had no idea were you like they're saying it, but I don't I don't know I still don't know like how did that work? Um, it, it was like I don't think it really hit me until I went and got fit for my wardrobe. You told me after the meeting you still were like not entirely sure, even though he, yeah. she said to me I, my face was on stuff. He was talking about me being the character. <laughs> I still don't know. I was like, it sounds pretty damn clear. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, babe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god, did I actually make it to a second place? <gasps> what's what's the best part about playing Bo-Katan in live action versus uh, in animation? But also, what's the thing you miss most about the sound booth? So, you know what's really funny is that for me, um, it's so much like uh, voiceover when I have, ah, I saw him coming and I still couldn't do anything about it. Oh, Harley, F you. And I mean, frack you from the bottom of my, my soul. <laughs> um... <laughs> So when I have the helmet on and we're doing things like, um, you know, like full gear, it feels like voiceover. That's the easiest time for me to play Bo-Katan because it's like old hat, right? Like I've done mm -hmm. this before. Um, and, um, it, you know, when I can't move my face playing her with the helmet off, that's when it's hardest. When I actually have to like, you know, um, try and be stoic and not move because as you guys have seen in this gaming series that I move my face a lot. I'm very expressive. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think Bogotan's like a hand talker. No, she's not. <laughs> she's not, and her mouth doesn't move that much, and I have to be like really careful. Um, um, I have to be like super careful. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna get you. Oh my God, did I kill someone? <gasps> no, and they killed me, so it's fine. It was short-lived, it was very short-lived. Um, yeah, she's very stoic. <laughs> She's super stoic, right? Like she's, um, I think that that for one of the first times that I was playing her um, in the scene in the um, uh, the restaurant when we sat with uh, Din and, and Baby Yoda, um, that I was sitting on my hands because it was the first time I'd played her and I was like, <laughs> I need to like not move so much. Um, and so I, you know, and I had to really focus on not moving my face and stuff. So, so what does it look like when you're in the booth then? When I'm in the you booth? Move around when, you, when you're in the booth, Katie, do you move around a lot and, and just go for it? Um, I do, but as her, I don't. Like, Bo doesn't move a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So like if I'm playing bitch pudding or something like that, I move around like a crazy person oh, and my man. hip shake all over the place. They like, sure do voiceover for voice recording for bitch pudding and it is, it's a show on its own. Like they should just record that and use it for something because her butt is out in a way I've never seen before. Her hips are sw like swiping side to side like crazy. As you do. The hands are up in When the you're air. telling someone where they can put their put their strawberry put shortcake put their strawberry shortcake <laughs> where the sun split. don't shine yeah. Yeah. Sam do you move do you move around a lot uh, in the voiceover booth hugely 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 I, I do, do you cause I'm well, yeah because I'm trying to pack in as much information into the vocal uh, into the into the vocal performance as I can and I find that it helps if I do move around even as mall like for example really? if I were to do yeah, if I were to do Maul or The Sun or something like that, and, and, and if, if there was a camera on me and I was on a set, I wouldn't move at all. But uh, I yeah. find that, again, I, I, you just need to add that little bit of extra something into the voice performance. So the way I do that is I, I tend to grimace and move. Or, or for example, like, like, like if you were to do Palpatine, you don't sound like Palpatine unless you contort your face right. like Palpatine. You know, right. you're like... Like I could, I I could bring my voice down of here, but course. it just sounds like Sam doing the voice. But if I start doing the face, at yeah, night, you know, you like, like he, your father, you know, that's, okay. that's amazing, by the way. But you're very <laughs> much putting characters on. I'm I'm just playing like a less movie version of Katie. 
Is that right? Is that how? Is that what Bo Katan is? A less movie version of me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Bo is like, she's like super. Like I keep saying stoic because she is. She's she's so calculated and she's like so thought out and like you mm -hmm. you literally see her brain moving when like she's like just staring at you. Um, so when I go in and I do voiceover for me, it's just a matter of like staying as calm as I can because right. she stays pretty calm. So, so, so Bo-Katan was, fill me in, she was like 16 to 18 during the Clone Wars. Is that right? She yeah. Was, was... I've, we've done this math a lot lately, mm -hmm. actually, just to figure it yes. out. Um, <laughs> because I say to people all the time, I'm like, guys, you keep talking about Mandalorians like they're human. We don't know that. We don't know how they age. Like, That's maybe true. that helmet has like, you know, like really good stuff for your skin. And she's just <laughs> not. <laughs> You put the helmet on, and it's like a, a, a like a facial, really. You know what I? You know the thing that I do with Star Wars as well. When when people are like, "Well, Luke was, you know, he was 18," and be like, "Well, we don't know if he was 17 or if he was 22. We don't know how old Luke was, so we don't know how long the period in between was." And further, Luke is what? He's 18 or 19 or 20 in Tatooine years, because right. a year is how long it takes. You know, there's an orbital component there. Yeah. What planet are we talking about? What? How long is the year at, in various places? Oh man, you, know? you got to steal that. That's See, a great, that's a great, great that's fantastic. I just say that Bo was twelve. <laughs> 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 yeah. We don't know. She was just a really misunderstood kid. Um, no, but I think you're right. I think she was in her teens. You know, I think she was probably, I think, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, something like oh. that. That realistically, I think that what uh, Filoni and I discussed was that she should be like in her her mid forties, mid to late forties. So you know, I'm forty one. It's close enough. Mm -hmm. It's close enough. Um, it's one of the things that I love about about uh, Mandalorian, by the way, is that the that they've they've got women of a certain age in roles that um, fit fit the characters, and I love that. I think that's so cool, right? Like, you wouldn't have seen that 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. No, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Mm -mm. It's really awesome. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. You killed her. I know, I got one. He killed you. <laughs> hey, Alex, awful. I'd like to object to something here. I want to object to something. Okay. Can I object to something? Sure. I object to BB-8 in this game. I object. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just... Read. I, I picked him up because he was murdering me earlier, and I just had to try. Dude, and look he, at me—I got ripped apart. I, what I don't get is why the, uh, you know, the the resistance doesn't just buy a bunch of BB-8 units and send them on the field because right. they're murder machines. They are. They are murder. They balls. really are. I remember in Battlestar how how funny it was that everyone actually, because there was so much ad libbing on the set. People would actually, in their real life, say That's the it. Battlestar swears. They'd be like, oh, frack. Like, we were. <laughs> when that show was going on, everyone's language was cleaned up in their real lives because they went with the fake swearing. They're like, oh, frack. You I know, know it's what the I'm doing here. Well, speaking really of fake funny. swearing, what, what, what real world swear is Dank Farrick? Like, what would that translate oh, yeah. to? Uh, Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That's, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I was going to say F this, but or that, that makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, so during another life, um, we, uh, I was so excited to finally be on a network and a show where you could say F like the real F bomb right, right. that the first season, I just started ad libbing them. And then all the other actors started ad libbing them. And then Netflix sent, a <laughs> <laughs> sent a, sent a memo basically <sighs> saying that we could no longer ad lib <laughs> F the F word because we, we, um, why am I shooting the sand? Why am I shooting the sand? Guys, guys, I'm shooting the sand. Turn around, turn around. You led a, a swear, you, you led an F-U-C-K revolt right there. I did. Totally... I did. All right, so, the, uh, okay, the kid be screaming. Damn it, I can't believe it. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh my Where gosh, he, wait. He has, what, he's like, he's in the desert, right? And he's all crazy, right? He's like having a bad day, was it? How did that go? Day. Pretty bad day. <laughs> Lost. I am lost. Ah, uh, what are the words? Um, and yet, I can feel his presence so close, so close. 
Um, here it is. Yes. All right. Here we go. Kenobi. Kenobi! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there. That was... Uh, was it definitely did it hurt you or did I step away from the mic? Were we okay? Sounded like it hurt you. Perfect. That was amazing. Sam, you're so good with your voice. Yes, it's so. crazy. <laughs> Boy, thank you, Katie. I appreciate that. I'm like really envious. Like that you're amazing. That's phenomenal. That. I, hope you know, that, I hope that doesn't with... make your make you lose your voice for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's destroyed. There, there's a story with that being in the Battlefront game that I was doing the, the mall sessions for Battlefront. I was in Chicago working on a Ron Moore thing at the time. Oh! And with Mr. Ron Moore. Um, but, um, but I went into Chicago, and so I didn't know who was in the room with me, and there were people dialing in, and we were doing all the mall lines, and at some point they had him referring to Kenobi. Right? They had him say Kenobi or something like that. It's, it's Kenobi or whatever the line was. And and so eventually I was like, hey, listen, um, I'm going to do something. It's going to be really weird. You need to turn down the volume on the mic, <laughs> you know, gain it down. And you're you're going to want this because it hadn't aired yet. Like it was it was just not something that anyone knew about yet. I'm like, yeah, it's going to it's going to be weird, but you're going to want this eventually. And they're like, OK, uh, go for it. And then I just started screaming. And started doing that over and over again, gave them several takes. And they're like. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Uh, moving on to the next line, because they had no idea what the hell that was about, you know? And I'm like, it's it's going to air in a little bit, and you're going to want that in your file. You're going to want it. They, <laughs> they, uh, they caught on, and they released it. So that That's happened. awesome. That's so cool. Somebody just donated money and said um, they just wanted to let you know that this was donated post- Kenobi scream because hashtag save Sam's vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> Post Kenobi. Uh, Sam, I asked Katie this earlier, but if if you could pick your just favorite minor character, who would it be? Someone who's like C or D list in Star Wars. Who do you think is the best? Oh, your fi favorite minor character. Um, <laughs> it's either between two fighters against a Star Destroyer, that guy. <laughs> Or, or hobby? it's hobby, the Imperial yeah. technician who was behind Ozzel when he died. Watch that guy. He's yeah. hilarious. It's like some of the best extra acting I've seen ever. Where, like, Ozzel chokes, he falls down, and there's a technician with his back to you, like, to, like, typing in the computer. And Ozzel hits the ground, and then he's like, well, what's that? He looks at Ozzel, then looks up at the TV screen, sees Vader, and then goes back to his computer. So he's like, click, click, click. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> typing. I was doing my computer thing. It's very amazing. It's very, it's really good extra acting. It's a, it's a, I'm just, I'm not even part of the, I'm just, don't worry, don't kill me. I'm doing this. Back. Very cool. When I see an extra do a really good job, it's, it is phenomenal. You love it when you see an extra just doing the best thing it possibly can. I'm trying um, to get uh, our dog over here. His name is Hilo or uh, Carl Wagathon, yeah. but his actual amazing. dog tag is uh, the Battlestar dog tags as well. So Sam, what's your new voiceover job that you can't tell us about? Yeah, I can't talk about it. I That's can't even talk about it. You can't talk about it? I can't talk about it. I'm not even talking about it. Can't talk I, about it. I know what that's like. <laughs> what that's like. Speaking <laughs> of, hey, Katie, are you in the Book of Boba Fett? I have no idea what you're talking about. What is a Book of Boba Fett? <laughs> what's a Boba Fett? It's funny that you mentioned books while we're sitting in our library. I like that That's answer. The, no, answer yeah. <laughs> Can't get anything by her. Speaking of Boba Fett, how wonderful is it? How wonderful is it, first of all, that Tim Moore Morrison is just such a badass, but also oh, yeah. that that the people making this show are smart enough to have him misquote his father. <laughs> Think about that, right? Because... For him, it was 40 years ago. Uh -huh. And he goes, you know, I'm a simple man trying to make my way in the galaxy like my father before me. But the actual quote is, I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. But to young Boba, that's what his dad said. It was 40 years ago, 30 years ago. He doesn't remember exactly word for word what his dad said. Yeah. That's when you know that you're in good hands mm. by those people making that show. I don't disagree. You know, I one of my favorite things to do, Sam, and I'm sure that that you have done this many a times, is to text Dave and talk Star Wars. Yep. Um, yep. 
And it's one of my favorite things to do is to literally just like text him a, a, a picture or like a question and he and I will just text for forever. Um, but we're constantly trading pictures back and forth of the fan art and the swag that's everywhere. And he's like, your face is on a shirt now. Your face is there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's really fun. We have such a great time trading back and forth. So You know um, all about where Bo-Katan sort of came from in terms of her visual aesthetic and the owl theme and all that, right? You know all that? I, I mean, I, I know that Anne was yep. the, the, the sort of like model of yeah. Bo-Katan. I always like to think that maybe it was Katie and Anne put together. Like yeah. he already thought that he was going to give me the role and possible. he loves his wife. And so he made bo It's very possible. <laughs> <laughs> I it think I'm Maybe crap. even likely. Who knows? Hard to say. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna but do, but I think I have to take one. my glasses off now. Screen. I really can't see. I think I can have her headphones on for this, but here we go. It's okay. I can't hear what's happening anyway. Oh my All right, God. guys. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. <Holy crap. laughs> I can't hear anything. I can't even see anything. So, Katie, that, that's the updated helmet because the earlier ones would just like jiggle around on your face. Do you remember okay. that? Sam said that's the updated helmet, and the other ones used to jiggle around on your face. They did. So, there's a long story behind this one. It doesn't open. It doesn't open? No. I'm sitting here thinking maybe I shouldn't it's, tell it. Um, <laughs> so you're doing right? Right. No, you definitely right have to tell it at this point. And they put in the wrong a ring for the toilet above the room, my storage closet. And I lost a lot of memorabilia that got destroyed um, because it was sitting in fecal waste while I was out of town. No. The helmet was one of them. And I talked about it. Uh, when I was visiting a friend of mine that the helmet was completely ruined and I needed to get it sanitized. Um, and it was completely rebuilt and pulled apart. Um, and uh, so the frame is the same and the exterior is the same, but it had to be completely repainted. It had to like, it was in bad shape. Oh my God. Um, and it had to be sanitized and like, it was really bad. Wait, so is, I miss, is that the fecal helmet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally it's lingering. Lingering. No, lingering it's sounds. been completely like sanitized and repainted, and like it but, was. But you'll always kind of know. <laughs> it's supposed to be a battlefield. I know. Not it a makes it worse that it wasn't. Just to be a battlefield. Uh Jack wants to know who's playing Sabine Wren. <laughs> that might have been good. It's, been it's me. Red. I'm playing Sabine, guys. <laughs> Sam, if you're going to do the voice of Sabine. It's, yeah. 17300 We've got $200 left, and then I'm going to shave Robin. I feel like that was a bit of yeah. shade, though. He said anything for two of Mandalore's greatest leaders. Yeah, two mm. of Mandalore's greatest leaders. You guys, how do you... I don't know how you do this. Should we just do one side? Um, you know, I think one of those leaders was... I mean, a little bit better than the other. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's Katie, start rebuttal. with one. Katie. What happened? Don't worry so, about it. She didn't hear it. Don't worry. I'm so one focused. Of the, one of the Mandalore leaders was better than the other. I think he's saying he, he thinks Maul was a better leader. Do you say? Yeah, you're listen. Words in my mouth. But, <laughs> but if you if only you're back only in one corner, of us has only one of us has been cut in half though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't like to talk about that. Who takes two in a fight? <laughs> Bo Katan versus Maul. Ooh. Um, you just, before you answer, remember I already cut off John Favreau's head. It's just saying. True. Just saying. It's true, but I didn't like him anyway. I kind of want to get these donations up to twenty thousand. I kind of do too. Is that a thing? Are we allowed to? Do Are we allowed to keep going till we get to twenty thousand? I mean, I think we just keep going. Unless you guys have to go. You guys, you guys, tell us. No. Nope. <laughs> you guys, it's another thirty-five hundred dollars. I think I think I'm done going. hanging out with Bo-Katan and Maul. Oh. <laughs> Just kind of over it. But well, listen, <laughs> but um, I can't see our goal where we're at oh, right now, you guys. Oh, but here's a good we're, goal. We're doing so good. Uh, for for nineteen thousand, maybe uh, this yeah. up to Sam. Uh, how much money? Someone, Luke Carlson in chat says, "How much money do I have to give to get Sam to recite the Sith code?" Oh, oh yeah, the whole oh, Sith code. Do you know the Sith code, Sam? I know pieces of it. Um, don't know if I recall. I, I I have certain things in wrong order, but yeah, I'll look it up. Wow. Got it right here, ready to go, <laughs> and I'll do shelf. it as small. 
or Palpatine. Which mm. which do you prefer? Oh or my Palpatine. gosh, that's amazing. Or the sun. <gasps> or the son of Mortis, yes. Mm. Or you know what I'll do? I got it. I got it. I'll recite the Sith Code. Remember how the son of Mortis would dip into other dark side mm. characters? Like mm. he'd say, Sister, so I see you brought a friend. They would have a like <laughs> go in a palpatine a little bit, and then he'd bump out and he'd go to Vader. I'll do it. Starting as the sun, going into Maul, and ending as Palpatine. Kyle, thanks for the donation. Mundy, you guys are amazing. Look, Kyle said, hi, Katie and Sam, just curious, what of the new Disney Plus Star Wars shows are you looking forward to watching? I am oh. so excited for Bad Batch to come out. Dude. So close. Dude. Yeah. Okay, that leads into it. Katie, are you in the Bad Batch? <laughs> like, dude, so excited to see it come out, right? <laughs> that was a great sidestep, uh -huh, Katie. Uh -huh. You did that well. You just pretend what? you don't hear the question. You're, you know, I'm so excited to have you. Are you in it? I'm, I'm so, so excited. excited. No. Like, so excited. Um, <laughs> right? It's, I've seen the very beginning of it. It was awesome. It was so you? Good. This is very one of the cool things when you're friends with Filoni. <laughs> like, I remember him when we were filming Mandalorian at lunchtime. He pulled out his laptop, his, like, little iPad and showed me the last episode of Clone Wars. <laughs> oh, what do you think? We haven't talked about that. We haven't. It's so cool. Like, it was so cool, right? I was just like, I was just blown away. Yeah. Um, no, honey, okay. I don't. I don't, we haven't done this yet. So Katie, you know what's really fun about Bo-Katan or Clone Wars or any of that stuff is Clone Wars is the last Star Wars that George Lucas worked on. It's the last George Lucas produced Star Wars. Right. Bo is a George Lucas Star Wars character. That comes from the Lucas era. So that's pretty cool. I did know that actually. Dave gave me that little bit of information. Um, but that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Pretty cool, pretty cool. How cool is the picture of him on set with Grogu? <laughs> oh my gosh. Totally awesome. I love right? that. Sam, are you in the Bad Batch? Uh, I can say no. Oh. oh. I probably shouldn't have even said that because it's always nice to keep people guessing, but no, no, I'm not. <laughs> and you know what? I wouldn't, dude. I wouldn't do it. If they asked me, I'd be like, no, dude, I'm not doing it. Don't care how much they pay me. Don't care. It. Okay. Sam, Aaron, John, you guys, I'm going to keep watching these names, but go for it, Sam, whenever you're ready okay. with that Sith guy. Here we go, guys. Picture yourself. You're on Mortis. We're on Mortis, all right? Here, Mortis, all right? We're going to start with the son of Mortis. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion I gain strength. Through strength I gain power. Through power I gain victory. Through victory my chains are broken. The chains. The chains are the easy part. It's what goes on in here that's hard. The force shall set me free. So there you go. That was Very amazing. good. Amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. So that good. was amazing, by the way. So good. Thank you. So cool. Sam, I kind of like, I kind of want you to be like my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Katie is not here right now. She's busy usurping Mandalore from its rightful rulers. <laughs> Katie, I'll just hit you with some rapid fire questions. And uh, Sam, feel free to chime in as well. But you got it. Uh, if, if you have any knowledge here, uh, where was Axe Woves in Chapter 16? In the bathroom. Okay. Uh, he was taking a poop. I've said this all <laughs> along, you guys, that men, every time you need them, when you're ready to leave the house and go do something important, they have to go to the bathroom. It's true. So it's true. the the women were like, "We're not waiting." Yeah. And we just left. Uh, could Bo Katan beat up Boba Fett? <laughs> I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'd like to think so. But does does Boba Fett have his staff thing? Uh, that's what I was gonna say. Does he see the staff? Because the staff is pretty <laughs> intense. But uh, she could do an Indiana Jones like moment, just shoot it. Because Bo's got the daggers on her wrists too, plus the flamethrowers. <laughs> got flamethrower. Flame <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Sam? That's you know that's really rough because Bo Katan is formidable and she's been through some serious wars, but at the same time, Boba Fett is uh, kind of a maniac, isn't he? I feel like he's more like, he, he would do things that are dirty, like dirty tricks, like he'd sweep the leg or something, and Bo-Katan would like fight that. with honor, and yeah. she'd 
That would be her downfall. I agree. She's so honorable. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking All right, of, next question. Speaking of, uh, are you going to kill Din and take the dark saber in season three? You guys, we're almost to twenty one thousand dollars. <laughs> is is your nephew Corky Crease dead? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> did you eat any of the chowder out of the chowder hose? No, but how bad did I want to? That thing was so cool. <laughs> what was actually coming out of it? I don't even know. Just like, it was so gross. I remember when um, when Mercedes was there in the day and they were having her put this thing in her mouth. And it was so funny. She was very serious about it. What else you got, Alex? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, okay. Alex. Is Mandalore cursed? I have no idea what you're talking about, Alex. What happened to Mandalore? I have no idea what you're talking about, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you call him Grogu or Baby Yoda? I call him Baby Yoda. Oh. Well, but like if I'm actually talking to him on set, I, I do call him Grogu now. <laughs> he doesn't like it when you call him Baby Yoda, right? Yeah, right. Gets upset. Gets really upset. Gets very <laughs> feisty. <laughs> What's the biggest secret that Dave Filoni has ever told you? <laughs> and look, you guys, we're at 21,323. <laughs>